Kendrick's Kakosa, basically, I was taught by Germans, by Americans, I was called repeatedly mentally ill, mentally sick, someone who does not remember anything, stupid, dumb, insulted, blatantly in the face, spit in the face, because I did not remember anything. This morning, however, I, I spent some thoughts thinking about what saying to myself you must remember you must remember this is what it was all the time you must remember you must remember you must remember this you must remember this donald trump knew all the time he is a criminal he knew it he knew all the time from beginning to the end he's a criminal they all knew germans knew little owners Politicians, business people, they all know they're criminals. They just had to insult, they just had to do the stuff like this to believe their own lies, I guess, to get, I don't know, to put the tie on, to look at themselves in a mirror and go about life. This is, for me, a life, looking back, definitely not make no purpose to very today, and I'm 48 years old. Just maybe two, three years later, after deconstruction started in Kenjerska Koza, as I explained, construction of intersection. This was the first thing they started in the city. Uh, around the circling traffic intersection. No American would remember shit you know all the people that claim that i'm mentally sick that i'm mentally ill that i don't fucking remember anything that was spitting in my face just two three years later they were not even drugged up like i was they did not remember anything what they did not remember basically what i called i don't know recalled back i have no idea maybe some 15 years later from the state of mind when I was actually drugged up. So, all this, when I think about, you must remember this heavy talk. You must remember. You must remember. Or you will not be recognized. You know, think about someone that is a criminal, that, he, that knows he's a criminal, and is doing the stuff like this and even talking about recognition and he's not the only one the worst part about all this was not the only one who was doing on whose behalf what that's a question uh the people involved in this stuff They were not even a people. These are not even a people. In my in my book, this is this is just. I remember them. I recall them saying. They started to threaten one another. Trump started to threaten. Oh, it was another guy who started to threaten the staff members. When they were talking, when they would come back, you know. There would not be all the people in every session whenever I would be brought to the certain city like this one and start to threaten I am gonna do something to you and the other guy when he would say something that what started the first describe what happened in the city first if he would not describe first uh, properly what what went on the, one of the guys would start to threaten the other and this and that like what is wrong with you and stuff like that um, just a lot of stuff a lot of thoughts about and of course thinking what why I mean what was the purpose of this remember you must remember remember you must remember today when I think about all this like I said, I'm 48. My life up to date didn't make no fucking sense. 
Not so it would be better that I not even exist really in the human office. Just watch the video, watch this and and you will understand. Yeah, there was this another factor. Um that people oftentimes were not aware, but was the one that was deciding about people's fate oftentimes. It's called government. Uh People did not spend enough time thinking about that one. And it's, it's the one that cost a lot of people. And just watch it and then what I'm going to do, if you understand Polish, or even in portions of this audio, uh, it's going to be about probably like, I have no idea how long this is going to be about, maybe several hours, maybe five hours or so audio that I'm just gonna put in one file and pop this on on the internet because I'm not gonna go uh, it takes too much time I'm not gonna go over and analyze every every little bit uh, every little bit of it is just for the investigators to see that what I was doing I knew exactly what I was talking about this, this is not guessing this is just stressing of facts, nothing else than facts. So, that's all it is. Ken just got caused a um, renovation of the city from the Soviet devastation, I would say. That's what the Soviet Union did to Poland. It just prevented one from developing anywhere. Uh, kept one retarded for a long time. Did not start it like Lodgen's gear. She did start it in later stages. I, it's possible. I don't know. Maybe it all started first. I don't know. Maybe I got too excited at the end of the video. Maybe it, I went too far back in time with the intersection. I don't know. Maybe 2004. Maybe something like this intersection or something like that. That's a good question when the intersection started. I just remember it went back in time and I remember, yeah. Do you think the staff members that were there, this, this Germans and all this, that do you think that it, it was a show off, you know, who remembers what? Do you think they really remembered? No, they did not. Trump explained how it's done in Grotnikov with a little booklet. He got like a little booklet with him and the wages which confirmed basically americans and brought me to my account about what went on um that's the house i'm talking about you have to go over the videos um he would go and he would write himself for the house um what exactly was renovated how the owner renovated the house what portion of the house was renovated when he went and he wrote this in a little booklet and told me that when I do the report that he's going to match m report of my event from my memory according to his little fucking booklet. You must remember. Like I said, he knew he's a criminal. He knows he's a criminal. But he's not the only one. There's a whole bunch of them out there. February the 12th, 2020 it is, on this tape, basically what I do is I identify four people. One individual was identified a time earlier, I was at a library. This is a library not too far from Manufactura on Pietrakowska. Okay, I'm going to look on the map and see what you find out what exactly that happened. You're going to see this throughout the video. This is this was what was this year? This was my third time in this library. One time I came and uploaded something to the internet. I did not upload more than maybe three, four audio files. No, I did actually five audio files, but it was quite several of them. Uh, I did not manage to because it just closed just prior to the closure. I arrived. I was late. Uh, then. The second time I identify a gentleman who was involved in MK Ultra, but this gentleman deeply, deeply resented me. It's a male 
who's got a voice, a completely female voice. Uh, and it's because it was neglected, I, I would say, um, misunderstood, I would say. Actually, if I browse my memory, it's got something to do actually with his uncle that I think he was raised by him or something like this. Parents, he got an issue, is not even here from Lodge. Uh, I did not spoke to the gentleman. I have to think about basically. I should say, browse my memory to find out some more about him to get myself more to remind myself more of this uh, gentleman. Uh, and then the third time I came, you're about to see here with your own ears. Actually, this was the fourth time. The third time I came. I was faced with a very irregular situation, basically with a lady also, yes, that's right. Uh, it's going to be five individuals that I have recognized, not even employees, forget about that stuff. Uh, just people right here uh, that live in vicinity, that moved to this area or live in Lodge uh, since childhood, whatever, natives. Um, so yeah, this was the fourth time I came. The third time I recognized a lady and I did post this on the blogger. Um, I identified her on this audio recording. What I'm going to do is, it's also something I was told is going to take place. I don't actually even know how, where I would position myself within this video, what, how I would see one as. Uh, because I was told that I will be tested that my memory will be tested um, for the city and all the time I was suggesting also other people who will be watching this stuff either for the city or for others to see just what exactly have I managed to store in my head from MK Ultra. Um, and so in this audio right now I'm about to play, there's going to be three individuals that are going to be identified. Um, and you're going to see how it work. It's going to be three individuals that are going to be, uh, identified plus the city is going to be by the name Kenjerska Kozla. Something like that, Kijerska Kozla, something like that. It's a beautiful city in the southern part of Poland where I have spent considerable amount of time with a gentleman um, who is from, I don't know, Zelenogora, I think. That's towards um, west of Poland. That's position on west of Poland. Actually, not even too far from Germany. Okay, and it's like this because we met here in this library, and it just happened so that he met his wife in this um, Kenja Skakozla. Now, uh, the gentleman, another gentleman, um, this was one gentleman. Okay, now another gentleman. Now this one is really, really interesting one. I was actually told not even to get into this one because of some issues you might make conclusion yourself about. Um, but the thing about it is that and it's not exactly like this and it's some other stuff that is extremely important stuff to me concerning this case. You, I remember for almost like every person what exactly went on, what kinds of life conflicts, a lot of stuff I remember what was happening. It's actually what made things interesting. It was all kinds of stuff that happened uh, during this 21 year of MK Ultra, 22 year of MK Ultra. This was maybe the longest MK Ultra, I am not sure. 
some anti-ultra lasts with it damn a long time. Okay, they take your entire life basically till you get old, like I am. Now I am 48. So they basically suck your life up. What should be life, you end up not having. In this case, even worse, they cripple you. This gentleman, extremely important gentleman, as he gestured, he died on a picture sometimes in 2008. I'm actually thinking he's wrong. It might have been earlier. But the girl, the girl he is talking about, the girl he is talking about, I got to know her like four years earlier, if not even earlier than that. It's part, there is a possibility exists that I met her sometimes in 2003. She's not even in this video. She's not in this video. Um, she met this individual, this gentleman, through me years later. She dated someone he mentions who is from New York. Jonathan is his name. Um, I, I remember this girl so much. I just happened also to insult her and seal her fate in a way. She was a little bit eccentric in my opinion, but nothing what the gentleman you're about to hear is talking about really. Not, not so bad. Um, the problem with MK Ultra is that maybe the biggest problem with MK Ultra is that people involved in one sometimes, and I gotta say that I don't know how that would look like because I never subjected anyone to MK Ultra. And so this is a big, big question, what exactly that looks like, because you're talking to the real person. Uh, eventually, you have physical control over that person. And so you're interacting with someone almost like you would be interacting like with some kind of ghost or something like this. No, it's okay. And... It's really, really question. I never thought about it. I'm thinking about not right now about this stuff. What exactly the reality, a person who is not used to this kind of reality, what exactly this person see reality is. Some people are not capable to handle uh, issues in life. They have difficulties. Let's face it, a lot of people have difficulties with a lot of things. Um, I have a feeling that, you know, this is a whole area still that I have to investigate myself, analyze myself more. Now, to be frank about it, I did not have enough time to dedicate um, to how much basically are we liable for our surroundings when subjected to this type of practices, these are criminal practices, MK Ultra, to make myself clear about this. However, because of the stuff I have talked about, and maybe the stuff I'm talking about right now, um, that there might be people involved that are really, maybe you want to call this naive, maybe. People, I believe, in my opinion, that are just not used to um, having control over another person and basically maybe not even being used to someone and, and I'm not saying honest, blatantly honest or something like this, brazen that's going to go in the face and, and basically insult you while you have control over him like I did oftentimes and I'm not saying that honesty is uh, a total partiality in this case because you now I insulted people for completely different reasons. You now, if 
I was subject to the practice that, um, I don't know, that was totally, totally unethical, whatever, and they got me in a bad humor, and then insults were flying. It doesn't, it didn't really matter who was around me. I got grief on everybody. It's just that there were people who knew uh, what the hell they were doing, how it all works, and there were people who were not even familiarized with the whole thing. And you get this in the face, and if you have a problem, in my opinion, a little bit with reality, basically understanding, basically taking reality too seriously. I don't know how I would view this as because, honest to God, I still don't know enough about all this area. I don't know about all this myself. Um, would this be actually person, um, according to this type of elements, could we learn more about human, um, mental state i mean is it is it is it is it eccentric you know in my own in my opinion definitely is related to schizophrenia paranoia i would say this there is no doubt about in my opinion um now a scientist say that there is a schizophrenia in every one of us I don't think there is any in myself, but the thing about it is that people who have, who don't have ability, you know, people that are too sensitive, people that don't have ability to discern between what almost is, um, what appears to be reality and is not. Like, let's say, again, MK Ultra, you have a person, you have control over this person, uh, physical control, because he's not capable to defend himself. He's standing in front of you, and you can pretty much do whatever you want to do with him, uh, but he, you, you are communicating with this individual, and at a time, at a certain point, uh, maybe he touches your sensitive area, sensitive issues, and you're just not capable to realize the situation. Okay, basically discern between reality, between the person that is not being subject to the drugs, between the person you don't have control over, and between person I am talking about right now, then in my opinion, we do have problem with reality. And being Having a problem with reality, in my opinion, we are talking about some kind of um, paranoia, schizophrenia, because you see something that does not exist. Now, there are people that do not understand that, let's say, there's a light person, drugged up person in front of them, that they have basically, they're interacting with a drugged up person, with a person subjected to MK Ultra. That is, it was like this, and it was people that, unfortunately, that this is a, this is a big question, this is a good why it was all kinds of stuff that happened. I was told that people committed, some people were so sensitive, they committed suicides literally because of the stuff like this. Uh, I can tell you that I saw with my own eyes, many people become obese, weight exploded. That means they got in depression and, and they were fighting all kinds of demons, issues within themselves. You have no idea what kind of process this is. Uh, this is this is not a good stuff, folks. This is really really bad as it gets. Uh, and so, it, it, it's the whole area still that's that's going to be left for me to play with for quite some time, even when all this ends. Yeah. I will be thinking about all this, why, how, and how this is related to all kinds of mental issues. Uh, there are people like myself that can eat basically anything in this world, it seems like really. Uh, I can get away with almost anything, okay? 
um, the mental issues I have faced, the I was subjected to were the issues that I think that probably would break mentally person, I don't know, any kind of person. Some of the stuff I have talked about, um, too many issues I don't even talk about. They, they came up with, with stuff that, I'm not going to say it's roll your eyes, because when you are under MKR, you're like a, like a child. Your state of mind is like subject to like, you can't defend yourself, and you have someone talking to you the scenarios in which they, you know, I'm not going to say only they position you, but then in post MK Ultra period, they revive them. And so, these are extremely abusive scenarios I was subjected to numerous thousands of scenarios some i have talked about what took place in slovenia what took place in belarus a lot of them took place in poland it's all kinds of stuff that happened um in russia like i said numerous i did not even talk about maybe maybe the worst i didn't even, even talk about this is like you wouldn't believe the stuff and so what they do is in nk ultra period they introduce it to the same environments and they trigger this kind of issues maybe just to see how you're going to react to this kind of stuff what exactly is your ability to discern between now reality what would be like completely Reality maybe would be if you wouldn't be subject to this kind of practice. Now this is like, again this is very very relative. What exactly is the reality? For me, reality is something that is basically unavoidable. Some, something that you have to deal with. Uh, life itself. This is reality for me. You know, I don't know. Maybe this is why I'm strong and maybe people are weak because they think that reality is something that it should be and it's not and it's what maybe makes them weak in my book you are or you're not this is just the way it is and in this in this book it's it's actually proven theory that this is the way it is because of the reasons i have stated but again like i said some people have a problem with this uh, some people for some people it's difficult it's it's difficult to deal with reality because reality oftentimes this is not a fable this is not a beautiful fable sometimes reality is everything but a beautiful fable um, but still it's a reality so it's all kinds of issue that intersect here and i still did not have enough time to to go over all this now in this in this audios i'm about to present you let's just go back to this business um the girl later on was identified eventually as a schizophrenic and it just happened that i know i remember that i did insult with her this is one of the things um how the whole this thing affected her because of me i don't think you see this is this is yet another issue i did not even mention yet i don't think it was she was affected because of me there is another factor behind all this and these are the people other people that when you find yourself involved in this kind of stuff you don't have them even see they see you well, i'm talking about cameras you know spy cameras all kinds of gadgets small gadgets that you know devices stuff that governments use to watch people 
uh, make no mistake about this, when you subject someone to anti-ultra practice, it's basically, you're using a government trust. It's the government that gave you, individual, it's the government that, you, that gave you the right, the authority to have control over the individual. So it's quite natural that it's also the one who's going to be watching the whole thing so that you would not be doing some kind of maybe too crazy stuff, maybe stuff that you shouldn't do. Uh, maybe the stuff uh, that is just uh, not according to agreement which you have made with one prior to, um, to this kind of practice. This is something I was told, this is something I can confirm to you that um, there was all kinds of stuff that went on that some people did go too far with it and it was also something that government followed up from them and it's something that some people have confirmed it this themselves. They told me that they, they did some stuff that they should not and this and that and then as a result of it, uh, it was all kinds of stuff that happened to them too. How many people were involved in this stuff? Every, every owner, most of the employees of the hostels, hotels in Lodge. Employees of the gyms, pools, stores. Everything, almost everybody uh, in public life that you see when you go out there to eat from re restaurants, um, flea markets, greater area of Lodge, the host gears absolutely all the way to Grotniki. Imagine how many people that is. This is here in Poland and it's not only the city of Lodge. It was not, not to this degree, absolutely not. Nothing like this, anywhere even close to this. But again, we were also in Dansk. We were also in Poznan, we were in Gliwice, in many other cities. We were in the city I'm about to demonstrate you, prove you, we were there. Because I remember the construction, the changes which took place um, over the years, over the course of the time. And th there is more I can tell. Um, Therefore, not to this degree, like permanently we were here stationed in in Skier, Greater Lodge area. But still, there are people that can confirm account, uh, some in Warsaw and so on. And not only in Poland, it was also in Minsk, in Vitebsk, in areas where I was laid on again, uh, in Czech Republic and in Slovakia, and in Slovenia, in Belgrade, and in Croatia, in Zagreb too. And it was also in Germany, and it was also in Norway, and in Sweden, and in Britain, in London. And it was not only in London, it was elsewhere too. And in Canada, and in US, and back and forth, and almost all over the world. There is something little I took with me from Antioch times. And so how far did the city gone in this case? The girl I she entered Antioch to New York sometimes it was either in two thousand and three or two thousand and four. And it was like four, maybe five years later that the gentleman by the name Max got to know her uh, here in Lodz. It's the gentleman that indicated, who indicated himself into this case as well. I did not met the girl yet, but and the gentleman aggressively enters uh, our meeting after so many years with talk about mental diseases, schizophrenia, uh, paranoia, and stuff like that. 
something that for someone who was diagnosed with one uh, would be like super extremely heavy uh, sensitive subject make no mistake he knows all about me uh, and the Lord see it even more and if not certain about what he is talking about when meeting with a person like this he definitely would back down he would not want probably to communicate um, he would rather choose other topic maybe even leave the library as fast as possible I should say area uh, but I was not interested in that I was just interested in beside the topic I wanted to explore the area extremely extremely important for me um, because I actually felt I have a clue, I have something, a common link with another person um, that I could use to identify the gentleman through whom she became involved in this case. Now, it's a little bit difficult to talk about intelligence stuff when you have people um, talking to themselves outside, laughing and stuff like that. It's a little bit difficult. Great people, but this is really a little bit intellectual subject, a little bit heavy, difficult, in-depth subject. Interesting to some people, definitely, people who know, who have a bigger overview about this case. Um, I apologize for that matter. Is a girl I still want to meet, and is the girl I still want to do whatever I possibly can do to make her life easier if not maybe completely remove her idea about no I should say her I, I think clouded vision about the whole thing I don't think that I do not believe that the disease I have talked about would not be curable. I don't actually even believe in one. I only believe that there are people that are too sensitive about everything. They take things too seriously and because of which then uh, when they find themselves in a situation like this, then they suffer consequences too. So. I still, I'm an optimist, and I just simply, I just simply decline to comply with, you know, with some kind of acceptance of human inability uh, to fight for him or herself. Uh, I just decline this. I have gone through a lot of stuff. I have seen a lot of stuff. Uh, and I still know that I just, I'm going to tell you straight, life is not easy. Life is difficult. Uh, but I also, from my point of view, this is also what I see as life as. I see life as a struggle. As a necessary struggle. As a struggle. As a necessary struggle. Yeah, so, sorry, life is not a fable, this is not. Candy road, if you want, whatever. It's not like this. It's oftentimes the person have to face with difficult choices in life. And it's oftentimes the people make those wrong choices. We all make wrong choices, but sometimes these wrong choices tend to have a little bit too big impact I think on a long term and when they have a bad impact on a long term and I think that's when they skid off the road and they go sideways and it's all kinds of stuff that goes wrong it's not even difficult to steer the person in, in the wrong direction yeah. but I'm optimist and I believe in people and I believe in help I believe in giving people 
always definitely a second chance. Uh, I believe that if people would support one another, uh, this would be a better place, this world. And I also believe that we would support one another that uh, eventually together we could more accomplish. This is my philosophy. I believe in this. Uh, I don't believe in, in supporting people that don't want to do anything in life. I don't believe in that kind of stuff. Uh, that these are the tendencies that should be supported. But I do believe that we should be there for the people. I, I believe that we should give them uh, always a chance to go about life. I do. And so, whatever you want to call this video, um, I was tested. Uh, they tried to maybe even deter me away from obtaining these proofs, which I did. Uh, I identified the city, uh, and despite, like I said, this kind of quite strange talk, um, it's going to be in Polish and English, a little bit in English and a little bit in Polish. Despite all this, I proved that it's the girl we both know. I proved that I know her to the gentleman whom, of course, I know from MK Ultra Times. Uh, and in the end, he compliments me. Okay, so he says, I must admit that your memory is poor. The city of the lodge, you could say, that tested me. This is a public place, a library. There are cameras there, the cameras and the computers. And it's also something I was told the case is going to be. Where, how far this would go to the city of the lodge? It goes definitely to a mayor's office. And absolutely beyond that. I'm pretty sure this went to Warsaw and pretty sure it went to other places as well. International people were involved in it. In this particular talk, I don't see how not. Second gentleman, Ken Jeska Kozla, city identified. Um, what exactly have I pointed out? Uh, I pointed out. I pointed out what um, the gentleman, the girl from Skirsh, looked like. I guess I made a mistake with her in respect to glasses, but I do remember how she looks like. Um, I have demonstrated the face, what more or less what um, the gentleman who dated her sometimes in 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, according to him, 2008, looked like. His name is Jonathan Spire, Spire from New York. I demonstrated, I know her because I told she lives in an apartment building and I know exactly where she lives, at, more or less. In Zgirsh, I did not miss anything saying about her. The only thing I missed about her was saying that she had glasses, which she did not. He had them, and I demonstrated literally from the computer. I pick up his face, what it looks like. For another gentleman, I, I was clear about that he lived just about two blocks away from, uh, from the library. He's not from there. Uh, once he showed me the city, I have uh, where his girlfriend, Jane White, got a beautiful child, is from. Um, I have demonstrated to him ability to remember construction over the years, which took place, I don't know, Far back in time, sometimes in 2010, 2012, 13, I have no idea. I don't think it was 2008 
Yeah, it might have been. More about this stuff, I'm not going to go over now. This is when you start to revive memories, when you go back in time, when you start doing this reconstruction of events that went on. Um, that's when you can estimate the timing, but the, the, afterwards you don't, you have to concentrate to, to go, you know. And I'm just doing this like a fast recap of what you are about to hear on the audio recordings as the tools that I will demonstrate, submit to you right now. So what I do is I go over the city and I tell what was newly built. Oh yeah, 2008, I remember now if not even 2006. What was newly built? What was, what, what was changed in the city and this and that? What was new? What went on with the city? Uh, I tell which buildings were added to where and this and that. Still, right now when I think about there is more to it they, that I will tell. Uh, back then, when I, this also is like this, that Sometimes, because of so many people, meeting so many people, you're going to go and you're going to meet thousands of people, see thousands of locations, and you think you're going to memorize everything? I don't think so. Even if you would not be dropped up subject to MK Ultra, that you, would, you could possibly remember so much. This is a pretty damn good memory, really. It's like, like uh, Max, you're about to hear it. He's going to compliment me and the other one. The two are both good friends already, too many many years uh, well maybe not so good friends because of the stuff you're about to hear also there is a lot of shoddy stuff to hear um yeah what is the third person what else have i identified about all this The third person you're about to hear, this is a gentleman whom I also remember, but I did not hit well. I guess I did not hit well. That is another location that I remember I was with him, and maybe that might as, as was my might be the area where he lived. Yeah, I have actually pointed out also where this library where we are at right now was located before. I have pointed out, um, and it no, on that location no longer even exists. This is like a whole times library we would go to. I have pointed out that this gentleman, this is a gentleman also, that all these guys, they would not give you a clue until the last moment. They just didn't want the clue. They would not want to give the clue no matter what. Um, but in the end, they had to come to a sense that it was a pretty good revision I did of events. Uh, I mean, enough to be admitted as, as real. They doubted to the last moment. Uh, the third gentleman I identified, he actually even dreamed about under MK Ultra. He had this little buggy scenario that uh, what am I allowed to actually even put on the internet and this and that, that I should sign all kinds of uh, statements, that it will be like this and like that. No, it doesn't work like this because MK Ultra, it's illegal, this is crime, you're not supposed to, it's considered it as a torture, you're not supposed to do this to the person on the first place, uh, a person he was subjected to MK Ultra, I should say to the person, to such practice, I see no difference between one and rape. I think the rape is very closely associated with MK Ultra. I think that between the two, there absolutely is no difference, if you ask me. In my own eyes, subjected someone to MK Ultra is still rape individual, because he did not give you consent for you to have control over his body and through control over his body to play with his mind. This is one of the worst things you can do to MKUltra. The consequences, you can see a person subject to MKUltra. 
the consequences are NPR, so you can read in a daily obituaries. Uh, you can read them in all kinds of stuff that, that happens out there. Um, this is how I would recognize MKUltra because I didn't have any kind of pleasant memories from MKUltra. Maybe very, very few. Uh, nothing really ever came out good out of one. So, for that matter, that's the only place I can refer you to if you want to learn about consequences of MKUltra. It's just bad scenarios that I know are part of the reality that you read in the newspapers. Nothing good ever came out. Um, okay, maybe Katie O'Brien actually got married to this gentleman from SIA and has a somewhat normal life, but maybe, maybe, maybe there is another world behind all this. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, however, that you would be asking someone for consent and stuff like this, whether you are allowed to actually use audio recordings as a proofs of crime. Come on. Uh, stuff like this, maybe only in his dreams, in his dream world, maybe Stalin, maybe Hitler, something like this, they had this kind of ideas, uh, that something like this would be actually possible, Mr. Mr. Trump maybe dreamed about doing something like this, uh, but it's never going to come to life, because it is what I have stated it is, and nothing more, and nothing less, this is all there is to it. Uh, but they did anticipate it, they did try to manipulate them under MK Ultra, maybe to get my feedback on, on reality, uh, because they always try to distort reality on how you should pursue things, how you should view things. Regarding the car purchase, regarding issues that they have abused, yeah, I would just say this is this is basically abuse of trust. Okay, when the person actually trusts you, uh, and you go beyond, um, really even beyond torture, even beyond crippling individual to misuse his trust. This is not my problem. This is this is a psychological problem. The people who actually did this. This is not my problem. There are people like this too, and it's just nothing nothing you can do about people like this. It's a it's a dirty world. It's a filthy world we live in, uh, and it's all kinds of stuff in this in this life. This is why I said that life. This is not. This is not a sugar candy. This is not a road paved with a candy, with a chocolate. This is just what what it is, you know. It's it's like some kind of flea market. Let's say where everybody trades. Let's say that you have for sale. Let's say that other people have for sale, and you sell something, uh, and you buy something, and you buy and you sell. This is what we do. Our entire life, I think, you know, with all issues, with 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 everything, not only food and cars and homes and stuff like that. I think it's everything like this. It comes as a part of life. This is what it is. However, I did point it out that he was married, and he was. Because he doubted, doubted, doubted. He was like, no. He was actually quite pleased. No, I was not. This and that. And it came to be that, yeah, it was. A long time ago, he eventually was engaged. He was about to get married. And he did not. He mentioned later on something... On original audio recording I'm going to give, it's going to be about two hours long audio recording about the workplace. And right now, see, this very second as I'm reviving all this, this is how it comes to you. I have actually even reminded myself where the gentleman work. So if you think I don't know him, now I actually even remember where he work. 
for some time here because he took me to his workplace here. A German who wanted to help. The thing about it is that, yeah, uh, because life is not a sugar candy, if you present individual everything like a sugar candy under MK Ultra, this is true too, um, this, this individual might create the wrong impression about MK Ultra and may not even have a urge need to memorize things. So maybe that was a somewhat factor too. Maybe this is what he wanted to accomplish with that kind of talk. Maybe just get my attention enough for me to remember him. Okay. So yes, I pointed out that kind of stuff too, that he was engaged. He even have forgotten all about it. He said, oh shit, yeah, you know what? It was really like this, that I was, I was not married, but I was engaged. So that was a big one for him. Uh, just before he met me, that was his big thing in his life. This is what I'm going to be playing, you know. I'm just going to go to the proofs. I'm going to demonstrate you the city, what I uh, managed to identify. I'm going to point you out what I did not manage to identify. And I have, during course of this recording, reminded myself also was done in the city and I did not, it didn't come to me immediately, and so on and so forth. This is how it works, folks. It doesn't, it does not always, uh, it's not always that it would be, you know, that, that it would just immediately come to you. It's when you start to remind yourself of a person in a different location, in different circumstances, that you pull more from the memory, just like in, in, in a normal memory. This is how it all works, okay? So... This is, this is going to be quite interesting stuff, and you're going to see the city was really aggressive about They kind of maybe, no, they did, because I'm not going to misuse and say, you know, that uh, they wouldn't want me to succeed in this thing. This thing would not be possible without them. The mayor of the city, the people, is Giersch, mayor of Giersch, it's a person I already know. Before he even became a mayor, he was involved in MK Ultra. These people wanted to help. Uh, there is no doubt about this. All through, yeah, I disagree with very unethical approach. Uh, I believe that he did go way too far. However, I also have to acknowledge that uh, they did not have any kind of control over this. Paul and the loan had had a limited control over this case because it became international, it gained international uh, attention. Now, this is also a scary part because this is the kind of stuff that should never go on, in my personal opinion. Uh, it's like reality that goes on behind the curtain. So, you know, when you read media news and stuff like this, is this really what we should get on the plate? Is this is what should be served to us as reality when in reality there is something completely else that goes on. You have politicians gathering, meeting in some completely other locations than what you get to read in the news, in newspaper, media, uh, and you have all kinds of illegal practices that go on, um, of which... I'm not going to say cities, but even countries alone don't get to decide and stuff like that. Don't have, but they can be held blamed for. Um, from beginning, I was really, really upset. And I blamed for everything on, every, on everything I blamed Paul on for. Um, because I was also brainwashed in such a way. But I kept fighting and I kept fighting for the truth. I kept struggling. To see the reality as much as possible to understand and yeah at the late stages it become to me evident that uh, it was not only one party that would be involved in it it was all the parties that were involved in it and it took more than just Poland it's whole I'm not gonna say international community but Thanks God for community in this case, 
Uh, I really do not believe in politicians even a little bit. I don't believe that somebody who gets you in a trouble uh, basically presents you in a most negative light, uh, gets you in ocean of troubles uh, and doesn't have a capacity to keep you immune from troubles basically he created. I don't believe in this kind of people, ladies and gentlemen. I don't believe in this kind of stuff. I'm very disappointed with this so-called politicians. I'm not going to even go into some kind of reality show clowns like Donald Trump, some some abusive stuff like this. This is this is completely this is this is completely other subject. I'm not going to even go into it because all kinds of people that got involved in it. And in the end, he, he I was just left. I'm not going to say really in a mud in an, in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by with. A lot of enemies, also a lot of friends that wanted to help. Uh, a lot of negative, negative, negative karma, I'm going to say. That, yeah, could, as well as mine, lead me on a wheelchair, literally. On top of that, a lot of politicians from Warsaw, like Andrzej Duda, Kaczynski, that did nothing else but hate it, basically. Collect, collected... Uh, through corruption, money loaded their banking accounts and stuff like this, looking for freebies, goodies, and so on, and were just simply never, never, ever satisfied. They always wanted to get more at other people's expense. Uh, would take cheap person of health, physical and mental health, just to fill their bank accounts. Sucks. And, yeah, reality still didn't get to me enough. For me not to continue to fight, uh, for me to give up in absolutely any way. No way. I'm still all the same as I was. All right, now let me go to tools, let me go to audios, and let's see how this this went on. This is a really, really good uh, MK Ultra Pro. I have to use this. All right, here is the city I was talking about to you. The name is Kenjerska Kozla. Uh, you know, this is a Poland, right? We are here. Uh, actually, I am here. This is Lush. And this is in, uh, yeah, south part of the Poland, right? This is Poland. Sure, it is. Southern part of the Poland, for sure. It's not too far from the Czech Republic. Not even Slovakia is far from it. Uh, yeah, this also was the city we were in. We were in Katowice, we were in Opole, we were in Gliwice. Uh, it's not even on a map. In Gliwice also we were. Um, this here, this city here, we were here. But the thing is that I spent considerable amount of time, thanks to this gentleman, uh, who did not like not even a bit what went on, but he learned about construction that went on, the money, whatever I was present, it would be presence of money, a lot of money, and so with no wonder, this is basically how they got the little here and stores and they renovated the city, European Union funds, and so what I did was, um, you're about to hear this in audio recording, which what I am going to do, I am going to, I don't have a time, it's not because I would not have the time, it's because the most pristine thing for my claim is to just go ahead and release the whole tape. Now, if I release the whole tape as tape, then you're going to get a clue, then you're going to get an idea about how the memory functions. It doesn't come everything like always in like in a flash but at first what happens is you recognize the people you recognize locations then you start to concentrate yourself in back and forth 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 this one was difficult uh, it's such a little tiny city i mean it's just i don't know how many people are here a few thousand people if uh, and voila there you have it and so, you know, 
It works like this. You throw yourself somewhere in a map in a city, like I did. I remember this. There was something here that the, ro the way the road's supposed to be like this, and it was because it goes underneath and it goes up. So what I remember was this here, this location here. <clears throat> Later on, what it came to me also was this one here. It was construction also. Prior to this side here, it was here. And there was another location somewhere, uh, but it doesn't matter. The first location I throw myself was vicinity of his, of the gentleman's residence, which is located, okay, let's see this thing here. It's located right here. I think Zuckerberg was here too. They had Zuckerberg here. I am 100% Zuckerberg was here. Um, Zuckerberg, I am, they have the whole business delegation here. They had a whole business delegation here. They had a whole business crew here. Okay. All right, what I identified, okay. Let's go quickly here. This intersection here that you see right there. Okay, let me make sure you see it. This, this, what the guy told me was uh, not a Bahnhof, but this is um, this is German word. This is like let me see that uh, train station, <coughs> Vaxal in Russian. Okay, Ruski Vaxal. Okay, let's go here quickly. This is the first thing I identified. Now, this thing was huh, renovated. Just as I have explained, this was one of the first things that was done. I have no idea what the year was, probably 2008. This goes so back in memory in time. Yeah. The latest 2008, 2008 I anticipate sometimes. Okay, um, this here, this is uh, station, and if you go inside real fast, so we're not going to continue with the philosophy too much. I am past doing the stuff that I supposed to be here in this place here, in this hostel and so on. And this is going to be the next thing I am going to do it. Okay, this thing here, this was completely renovated here. This was like, like a garage. It was completely messed up, ready to fall apart. These windows here, uh, this is all added. This wall here, there was no wall here. This they added. Um, the bank at the same time, this thing was renovated. Uh, this balcony is all the balcony. I had something I always con concentrated into. This is just uh, real fast. This was one of the things they renovated too. This all was this all this stuff was renovated at the same time. Yeah, at the same time. Now going back and forth going back and forth what I did was <sighs> oops I probably went too far right now okay let's go like this okay I probably disappointed I probably disappointed in a way um, number one thing here this building here was built new this was built sometimes probably was a 2010 something like this Add to the old building. I have described as you're about to hear, um, maybe even in 2008, not 2010. Added to the older portion of the building. Okay. 
Yeah. Uh, this was all new here. Let me see this first. Then the owner went ahead. This probably, you know what? This probably goes all the way to this location here, goes to 2006, all through he did not want to admit. Um, here, when it comes to this here, uh, right now, when I was in this street, it's a trouble. It's a trouble because when I came here first, um, there was a house they built, but the house was behind this building, something like this is supposed to be a house that would be seen in this area. They have built a house, might be behind that building, I don't even know. Let's go real fast. Stuff like this, okay. Um, this is uh, this music shop. Let me see this here, yeah, music shop. This was here since the beginning of this building. Um, the owner is actually in this building here. It's adjacent building. It's, it looks like one building, but it's not. This here, this side was added to this side. Finally, it came to me. And for that matter, I got the confirmation. This shop here, electric shop, this is probably, I don't know, this is, I think, where the owner is. If this is what it is. Then you got this thing here. The last thing that was built, there is a parking lot here in the back. This parking lot was greatly, greatly improved. Okay, let me see something else here. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't see it, but I should see here in the back. It's supposed to be a house somewhere here, something like this. So I would have to head back. Now you can no longer see it because of these buildings here, because of this building that came to life. But there, there is a house behind all this that, according to my memory, is somewhere here that was built sometimes, I am pretty damn sure, sometimes in... It must have been built sometimes in 2008, 2006, something like this. Maybe even in later time. I am not sure is this is this actually the house I'm talking about is this how this looks like is this maybe the house I'm talking about I'm not sure there is a house there was a house that was built and this was the house something like this something I did not even mention him so I want some more credit for this this whole thing Okay, all right, I'm spending too much time. There's too much stuff to do. There is too many proofs to put online. As much as there is a balcony here, this is what got a really strong, quickly impression on me, interesting. Um, this was like a dumpster, ladies and gentlemen, or this whole place here before we came. We will walk right through the street here. Uh, and you would go like this, and you would come back on the main street where I was at the very beginning of this video uh, and this house here that you're about to see this house was um, let me see this thing here this house here this is a new balcony this thing here this is this is a new balcony um, when they were renovating this house, they added this balcony. This was done sometimes in 2008, something like this. This is a little stuff like this that you that you have to memorize, remember. Um, the biggest stuff, however, if I go back to this street here, I'm not going to even go back in there. There is some more stuff. Um, but there is no time. I got to put this audio recording then for the investigators to go over and actually give me a confirmation about this stuff here. Um, prior to even what you have seen here, or maybe at the same time, sometimes I believe in 2006, what happened was one of the first things that happened was in the opposite side of this street 
where you are, you would go across the street, it would be here, it would be like a blue building. They did the whole reconstruction of this site here. And it's here, this is also he gave me a green light. He munched something that he doesn't know, that he doesn't remember this and that, he remembers everything, because I, I know that would be the building right here. Let me see it. Oh, this here. This this is this is what they have built sometime. I don't know, this should be like two thousand and this should go back this thing here this what you see here should go sometimes back to 2000 and ah, 2008 2010 something like this this is what basically we have here and this is right across across the main street from where i was right now pretty much this is the stuff i have started to identify was built in the area and pointed out with the dates Okay, this area here was uh, reconstructed. Like I said, I need to start releasing the news here in respect of the people here. I have very little time and I have to move fast on. Okay, <clears throat> the first thing over that I have found was this hotel here, whatever the name is. Uh, and then what I would do is I would go ahead and I would point out his, what I believe was a residence. And before I did so, uh, the residence would be on the left side. Before I did so, I described his residence, that he lived, that his girlfriend, I was sure that he's got a wife, whatever I was talking about, you're gonna hear the whole video, the whole thing. So it, it, beyond, it proves beyond any doubt that I know what I was talking about lives on a third or fourth floor or something like this i have spoken about on the video and was pretty damn sure that he lives right in this street right here this was the first location that i have pointed out i'm gonna try to point you out the building yeah this one right here this was what i have pointed out to be his building right here as a matter of fact not this one it's this one it's building like this but what the hell have I done let me see this one here this, this here was the building I'm not sure one of these buildings that is his building that is a building of his wife of his girlfriend with whom he lives separately oh, let me see where it is there's a little time left here for me to read this stuff there's so much other stuff I gotta do okay let's just suppose that this is the building I suggested that this was his building and I might have also beside the floor the third or fourth floor which I have indicated demonstrated him I have also uh, I think that I did manage to point out also the side of the building where he lives those are all the things that separate me from someone that would not even know what he is talking about but you know, this would be like one, two, three, something like this. It doesn't matter. He lives not in this building, but as you are about to see, very nearby here. That's basically what matters. If that was the street I was in. Uh, 
And this was the girlfriend he dated way, way, way before the two had a child. Way, way. Uh, beautiful lady too. I remember the, the whole thing. So this would be almost like a few meters down. And again, yes, of course, this I have not even mentioned. The side of the street, which I pointed out. Okay. I kind of knew basically where to go. The thing is that he was not the only one involved in it. And pretty much for all the locations, whatever they find out that somebody is trying to help me with some information the only thing they would do is they would they would cause trouble confusion out of it that's all there was to it so you can see that this is again the building that pretty much looks like the buildings i have demonstrated you just right now this is the one i think yeah and once you find yourself in front of the building like this drugged up it's kind of a difficult to know exactly which which was the one okay especially when the whole thing is is in vicinity okay so i think this is the one and again we're talking about the game exactly what i have stated you're going to hear in audio recording third or fourth floor i don't even know what i have stated okay if you would go toward the hotel that i have just spoken about you would go this way like this right between these buildings and the buildings that i have pointed out are right there in the vicinity and it's the buildings they have brain brainwashed me for false location and what to point out okay but this is more than good enough if i point out the location of this thing here in this little city it would be right here look at this augustina koshnego number six Okay, now look at that on the map and match that with the other location which I have presented you with and you can clearly see that I know the city because I know from one side to the other side. The first tours they came to this location here, of course, Lidl, Lidl owners are the people involved in MK Ultra more than anybody because they had total interest everything they created they basically i was their bigger interest they were using me everywhere on a front line wherever i would go they dragged me whatever they would do in business they dragged me along augustinska koshnego right here and previously i have revealed you a lo location right behind the uh, rail right here next to the train station so these are two different locations yes of course and this location just happened to be close to the hotel too where we were staying by the way we were staying in this hotel whatever hotel that is that much about Ken Jerry in Kozla it does have something more to do with uh, it reminds of someone's last name that I have mentioned and I'm not going to go into details uh, Germans also had here like storage area for their tanks or whatever there was a lot of talk about that kind of stuff okay there's a little bit more to all this individual light um, he actually met his what became his wife through me uh, when we first came to this city must have been years sometimes 2000 and who knows maybe 2003 maybe who knows what the year was he might not even be present maybe it was 2001 i have no idea what we were doing in this city this individual is from other side of the poland and thanks to me he met his future wife um, now the whole picture came to me in life this is the what you see here Bonhof train station 
Dvořec in Polish, Vogzal in Russian. Whatever you want to call this here. Do you know what this here, this, when I came here first? What you see here, this, this here, this was a fucking mess, all this. You see this here, this parking here did not exist. You know what this was? This was like a, like a dumpster, the whole thing. It was like a hill here. Okay, it was a hill here. All that you see here, the parking lot, everything here, the only one who remembered afterwards when we were coming back was Donald Trump because Donald Trump was the first one who, with whom I came here to this place here. You see this here, this, you see this parking here? This was like a hill like this. And so what they did was, the first thing they did was they clean all this fucking mess here. You see this here, this, this, here, this, around about, this cross, uh, I, whatever you want to call this, circle crossing. Um, it was not here when we came first. Oh, this was the first thing in the city they started to build. You see, this is how far my memory goes. My memory is iridium. It is better than the German's memory. It is better than anyone's memory. It is better. I'm sure Donald Trump don't fucking dream about any of this stuff unless he have written himself in a little booklet. And I was drugged up. And my memory is so strong that goes back in time what the time was, what the year was, maybe the year was 2000, who the fuck knows what year was when we came here first. This did not exist here, this intersection here, it was a regular intersection, then they make that into a round intersection. See this? This is what you call a real memory. Then the second thing I have not, that I have touched, but the gentleman did not even want to go into it, would be this issue here, look. Look at this here. You know, the only person other who would remember this stuff is our owners of the Lidl. The Germans were here big time. They just, rah, they went like this. They want this city here. They were crazy about investing into this area here. And if you look at the area, a lot of streets and names, it's kind of a weird, strange German kind of uh, names they gave, you know, which is quite really very, very inappropriate for the Poland, I would say. They kind of just Germanized themselves through me. Unfortunately, I was a really, really negative. I have a super negative impact on Poland. I'm really ashamed of it. This name, this street here, we were right here in Grunwaldska, this here. Yeah? No, we're going to go to this one here. It's called Dvorcova. This was another one that went parallel to this. You know what? Second thing, basically parallel to this circle intersection, this here that was fixed was this area behind here, behind this, this, this was the area they, they were doing this here. This, this was a big, big stuff they were doing here. They were cleaning everything here. And then what happened was they would guide me here through this street here, like this, right? And all this here that you see, there was nothing here. There was only some house here, their farmer house, old house, if it was something. Here at the beginning, only at the beginning here, you're going to see there were like three red houses. Everything else then became new. So this is yet another street I, they would guide me through. So you want to fucking tell me what I remember, I don't remember. <laughs> you tell me about that. Just when you get immediately into this stuff, you know, you know what it is? It's so much that it's, it, for me personally, this this is like, it's, it's not even pleasant, all right, to go about this kind of stuff. I am sick of it. I want to finish this stuff. It's, it's nasty to talk about, to keep going into a lot of unpleasant stuff that, that you were exposed to. It's not actually pleasant. You see this here? This is all postal service, whatever it is. Okay, but this was another street they drew me. Okay. All right, Americans got the message anyways. Okay, the internet sucks. That's another issue that I'm dealing with here. So we're not going to see here, but there's like houses like this here, like red that you see. This is what I was going to show. 
and there are three of them and those are old houses and I was going to tell you those are the first houses that were also renovated at the same time of which people, residents were extremely pleased, happy about. a lot of friends here, people, nice people that came to help and I do have to respect their, you know, when they go to work tomorrow and here I am, blah, 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 you know, okay, so real fast, let's go through this stuff here, I want to show you those beautiful red houses, those are the residents, the first, they, are, they all know me, all these people know me here, they Where the, which direction is this? This is in the opposite direction. This is where the new construction started. Okay. This is where they started to build. Oh, okay. These are steel. Let me see that stuff here. These are steel. Yeah, this is still all the residence. That, uh, just like this. There are like three houses like this. And those houses, they were so poor. The whole thing was so poor so poor and these people were so happy because they they obtained funding you know this this was a mess you know they started to fix this stuff uh, and with the time it started to get better there was some construction going on here too but I am not definite in what exactly was built uh, now this likely that might have been some construction on this side that went on, but I'm not going to go into it. Mm. Not yet. I would have to take some time to sleep over it and think about what I can see this here. This is important stuff here at the beginning. No, this is the important one. Okay, this is where it all started. Okay, so let's see a little closer. This is where you have that postal service. These are the three old buildings, just like this, just as I have explained. These are these old buildings when you go from beginning. This is definitely no improvements. Uh, this house, new house, this was built, I don't know, who cares, but you can see that stuff, okay? What matters is that I point out pretty much this kind of stuff, which I more than what I did. I'm just going to do this one more time. <laughs> this here in the back, at the beginning, the oldest building, the oldest part of the building. Number two, the house here, this here came to life. Number three would be this here. Uh, so we have basically one, two and three. And this is what I think it was, unless there was another another house here somewhere, something like this. But I think this is what it was. I'm pretty sure that the old one, then this one came to life, and then this one here came to life. This is the city known as, and here is the address, so you can see that stuff. All right, when I said earlier, I said life the word life okay here's what it is gentleman is from Zelona Gora he became part of the Polish delegation that's basically where I would be it would be people with the money with a lot a lot of money people who rebuilt Poland uh, Germans British Americans they would have West amounts of money and therefore this Polish delegation was assembled out of young people that are to leave this country some on the surface others on subsurface uh, each wants wanted investments in their towns in their cities like I said this guy's from completely out of part of the Poland 
but it is I to whom he hath met his spouse in dangers that cause life through me. Um, once he met her, it's when he would start to point out, teach about the city. And he met her when we went, I don't know, through the city, to the city, whatever it was. Uh, eventually he might bump into me. Oftentimes the woman blew on me when I was dropped up. It's how these guys who later on got either married to them. It's a whole bunch of women like this. Uh, whatever the case might be, a lot of relationships started like this. And it's how they grabbed them, basically, once they got glued on me. Uh, and so this is why uh, I stated the word Uriah. And the gentleman can do nothing other than agree with it because he knows it's true. If you ask him this question, he will give you a confirmation about this. Um, you know, when you ask questions like this, you can help yourself but to ask yourself. A, a, a major question basically is what made him go and teach me uh, about Kendra's uh, Kozla, uh, was it out of his good heart that he wanted to help? I think it was in this case. Or were there some other influence behind all this? And this is a major question that pertains to the state of Poland. This is my main concern. Uh, because it's my future, basically, that depends on this main concern. If you understand me right. A lot of people, the only thing they did is they betrayed Gurina and Kayotra, and they got to betray them one more time in a close period of time. But both of these gentlemen, you here, came actually to the rescue to help. This is what I believe. Yeah? But there was all kinds of stuff uh, that was involved in this uh, in Kayotra. And so, It's just uh, too much to talk about, a lot of philosophy that I'm just going to let go for the next time. But a uh, note to Americans, to the Germans, you can see how far my memory goes. Okay? Uh, the guys from Lidl, the headquarters, the owners of the company, you can see now that the first day when they came there, when the construction started, we were early in the morning, they came maybe at Walk that intersection, how it all changed, the work that started. And you know, my memory, under and Cleotra, it's actually, it's better than your memory in the real time. That's probably.